Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Y Gaming. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you were all good. Today we are back with some more Night of the Dead. As you can see behind me, the base has had a massive overhaul. It's pretty damn cool. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute since we've played Night of the Dead, and I'm excited to get straight back in. It's been a very long time. I've had some issues, obviously, and I was on holiday. Lots of stuff, but anyway, we are back now. We're smashing it out. We're about to take on the Day 13 Horde, which I'm hoping this base absolutely just smashes it out of the water. I have high hopes. Now, it is not finished, so do bear that in mind. I still have a lot of work that I want to do to this, and, uh, like, a hell of a lot of work. But for the time being, it's it's all right. It's going to go well. We haven't moved the trebuchets and stuff yet. That was one of my big plans to do and, and rebuild all of that. But then, obviously, adding this front addition here set it, all this back section, like, way off. So I've redesigned it all, built it all into one whole section so it all fits together nicely now, which is what I'm about to do for episode... for, for night 14... With this next one here we're going to put all these sides over here um but more on that in the in the next episode so now we have an extra three rollers at this front section here we've got fully upgraded um oh what are they called the swinging arm things there we go that's that's the one we'll go for today so we've got fully upgraded swinging arms all at the front here and then in the back we have something a little bit special now all of these arms are positioned in such a way that it will swing and knock the enemy this way so the plan in theory bear in mind this is in theory it may go wrong is to knock them all that way which i'm hoping it works if it does brilliant if it doesn't never mind now we have a similar setup along this section as we did on the previous episode so we've got the cutter there and then the uh, trap door just there but this time around we got spike traps underneath the trap door which will slow them down and then obviously we've got another trap door there but to get out of this little section here, they have to go either through the cutter there, the spinny one, or attempt to go through the roller, which I don't think is going to work, let's be honest. And then down this side as well, it is the same. We've evened it out. I just wanted two stairways, really, because we kept getting caught out with the stairs. The stairs kept getting demolished, so I figured if we had two stairways, then it might make things easier. If tonight doesn't go to plan, then we will mix it up a little bit. I'll change the way that this section at the back here is actually led out. And then that should provide us with just a, a little bit of a better all-out assault, really. Um, I have lots and lots of stuff that I need to make to fit in here. I want to fill this completely with traps. Other than possibly this bit here and this bit here. Just so I've got a little place to drop down if I need to drop down. But we'll see how it works. Now, we've placed these here as well because I can jump over and repair them from there, which is good. Should work out nicely. Trebuchets at the back section are ready to go. I did want to place another one in, but I uh, I haven't had the time to do it, so nah, never mind. Now, here is my only worry. These set of stairs. But if those stairs do go wrong, what I will do is remove them, and then they will just have an option to come from this front section. I'm going to expand on this front section a little bit more with some range traps at a later date, so hopefully that works well. Now, all around this internal part here is a wall, which will go. Um, I'm going to rip all this wall out, and then a wall will be made from the actual platforms over here that's going to house all the ranged weaponry, which I'm hoping is going to look really cool. Uh, whether it does look cool or not, I don't know. I just want the base to look cool as well as work. Um, I could just literally plonk stuff everywhere and use half the resources that I'm using, and it would probably work, but I want it to look cool, man. It's got to look good. If it doesn't look good, I'm, I'm going to be upset. No, I'm not, I'm not having that. It's got to look cool. Now, obviously, the main issue that we are going to have here is the zombies will attempt to pull me down, so, uh, swings and roundabouts, you know, hopefully it works, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm planning on putting walls along here just so I don't get pulled down. But whatever they do, they do. All right, let's um, have a bit of a save quickly. And then right, we're saved. Um, one thing that I did forget to do, actually, which I want to do now quickly before we get here, if I've got the time, is I wanted a wall on here just in case it went wrong. Um, 
I don't know if they can climb up here. If they can, not good. Um, maybe a normal wall will do, actually. Do we have any normals? We have a normal wall. Perfect. There we go. Is that going to fit? No, it's not going to fit there. Oh, no, that's not good. But we can upgrade that one. So that's fine there. Can we do a half wall, maybe, or something? Yeah, half wall. There we go, actually. So let's demolish that one, and we'll put another half wall in there. Where are they? They're not close yet, I don't think. You'd normally be able to hear the trebuchets going nuts. So I do want to do this all the way along, but uh, I wanted to save as many resources as, as I've got at the moment just for traps. There's traps traps are going to help us a lot more than walls are at this point. Um, let's refill these as well quickly. What the hell is going on there? Was that a bird? I could have swore I just saw someone fly. What was that? Something just happened. I missed whatever just happened. I missed it. He like flew over here. I don't know what happened or how that happened, but I'm pretty sure. I, I, I just saw something out the corner of my eye fly past there. That was nuts. I'm going to look at that in edit. Oh, here they come. Whoa, how are they getting up here so quick? What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. How are they getting up? What the hell is going on? Something's gone wrong. Something's gone very wrong. So, something went a little bit wrong there, didn't it? Um, and I have a feeling these stairs are the culprit. I think some of them have come straight from the back end, ran straight up these stairs and gone bang. That's a nice, easy access. Let's go that way. Um, so, I'm going to remove them. And if it still happens, then obviously I've, I've balled something up somewhere. But I'm hoping I haven't. I'm hoping we've still got a big chunk of... Uh, defense going on. I mean, that's... That's fine. Everything here is okay. Let's fill these up as well. Do we have enough space to take them all? Yes, we do. Perfect. I'm going to put the 50 in. That should be just about enough. And there was one more thing that I wanted to do as well, which was put a little wall along as some of this, at least. I want to start, we'll start at the back. And just work our way forward. I want to be at the top section when they start to show up as well. I don't really want to be down here. Just want to see how aggressive they are and and how well it works if it works at all it might not work and if it doesn't work i'm going to be a little bit upset not gonna lie right that's all boarded that's ready to go um save it one more time all right one final touch can we make that jump? We can make that jump, which is good news. Because I want to put these on here as well. Which is just a final little slowdown. And then... Alright, let's get off of the traps. I think what I'm going to do as well, um, potentially for the next episode, because it does look like they're actually coming straight through these cutters, is switch it to a single channel, but double width, if that makes sense. Instead of just having the one platform there, we have it double, so there's two. And then that way, if they do get up, it's not too bad. If they do destroy it, it's not too bad. 
The one thing that I think we are going to face a bit of trouble with on here is quite simply the fact that they can easily trap me. And the only thing that I can think of doing really is just going backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards, forward. And they, they might absolutely annihilate this entire base, to be honest. Might not last at all. But we're going to keep pushing and hope for the best. main concern is getting on and reloading these traps as much as possible. Right, they're all good still. Zombies haven't completely annihilated anything. I'm going to have to put another roller in, I think, in these corners to actually force these guys into the cutters as well. Down you go, mate. Down you go. That's fine by me. There's a lot of them down there, which I don't like. I don't know what they're actually destroying down there. Uh, where's that guy? Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right, that's nice. I like it. I like it. This is going well. Until the next wave, of course. But Definitely need more guillotines. I also need to get out and uh, over to the... Trebuchets as well, so we can repair them and, and refill them. Keep these traps up and loaded as much as possible. These seem to be working really, really well, which is good news. The traps are sort of fending for themselves, which is good. Um, the external walls... I've not noticed any breakages yet, but that's probably going to happen. It, uh, it will happen at some point. Right? It always does. Yeah. All these are all still 99%, so that's good news. I'm going to remove these, actually, because I'm pretty sure you get collateral on these. So if you do get collateral damage just obviously worth it when there's a lot more of them coming. I don't know what that's from. Oh, that's from the stairs, isn't it? and load this up as quickly as we can. Alright, sorted. Let's go back in. Go again, round two. If round two's coming yet, anyway. That's still full, that's okay. I need another trap machine. Oh no! I've just forgot about those. Um, how the hell am I going to get past them? I didn't even think about that. No, I can't get past them, I don't think. No, that's not good. Shit. Yes! Got it. Let's just reload as much as we can. They're all focused on the outer traps, which is strange. Another wave hasn't come yet either. Even more strange. I definitely need to group these up a bit closer. I don't think they're close enough.
Right, load these up as much as we can. And then I have a plan which I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to attempt it. And if it does work, great, because I can use it in the future. But I'm planning on sort of cheesing just a tad, not, not much, not massively, just a little bit. You know, get a little bit cheesy. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. We'll make sure those sort of sticky, whatever the hell those things are that they put out don't get me. Definitely need to shrink the gap on these, though, because I'm pretty sure that is not helping at all. So these first two that are really close together are working very nicely, but the rest of them don't seem to be doing as much. So that's definitely something I need to figure out. Pair this side up. Done. Come on, come on, come on, man. Well, we don't have a, a, another wave after this. We, we might just do this. This is tough. This is like really tough, dude. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it, right, lovely. Let's just give these guys a quick little blast down here. Would you stop throwing wood at things? For God's sake, man. Almost out of fuel. Sounds very quiet now, which is good. Don't think there's any more coming. Let's finish a few of them off. That was a good shot. You see his head go. That's it, we've done it, we've done it. Alright, nice. That wasn't... Oh, shit, look at all my walls. What happened down there? Dude. Oops. Um. I don't know what happened there. So, that, all in all, was relatively good. I mean, not much is, like, really badly damaged. Yeah, I'm obviously going to pull this section out, like I said, and redo it just so it works out a little bit better. Um, we'll leave the three pendulums at the front there, and then the rest of it I'm going to remove. And hopefully that works well. 
but we'll see what happens. I am going to bring these closer as well. So then once we've done that, night 14 will be another horde night. And once that one's done, we'll, we'll do a little bit more exploring. Um, Carl, uh, you comment a lot, Massive. That shout out to you, dude. And you have also mentioned before that there is the giants on, on the hill or something, which I think for like day 15, we'll go check that out. I'm not too sure which hill it is or which mountain it is, but we'll, we'll get a load of stuff together and we'll go check that out. I think that'll be quite fun to uh, sort of blast the crap out of loads of giants, really, and just see what happens. But we'll bring all these closer. We will rejig this in here. What else have we got to do? Sort of redesign the floor. We're getting a lot of bags, which is good. Lots of zombies dying inside. Which... I know, like, the, the point of the range defences is to not let them get close enough, but I do like to have that bit of loot as well, rather than going out and having to sort of search everywhere and look through all the grass and stuff like that. I think it, it, it just works, really, doesn't it? It's being hand-delivered to you, in a way. All right, how are the floors doing, actually? The floors are actually... Okay. I'm going to repair them all anyway and get them all up to iron um, eventually, but they're doing all right. Which is good. It's good news. But today, though, ladies and gentlemen, um, I hope you've all enjoyed that. I did. That was fun. That was very fun. If you have enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you have any suggestions for improvements on the base, also let me know. I'm currently also working on character and going through a few little things. Um, I want to get some of these bits up and running because um, I'm a bit stupid at the moment and I'm not really using much of it. So definitely need to get it going, to be honest. Um, for today, though, ladies and gentlemen, massive, massive thank you to everybody that's watched. Once again, very sorry for the delay in um, Night of the Dead content, but we are now back in full swing. So we will see you next week with... Horde Night 14 on Night of the Dead. I've been wired, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.